Okay, it's finally time to get this Cobra 148 FGTL radio unbox it and get it mounted into my console for the truck. I recently installed a gunny puck antenna mount on the canopy and I'm just dying to see what this thing will do. I've fooled around with this thing a number of times over the years and haven't had uh, just lost interest in it. Couldn't really get myself uh, really interested in in playing around with it. So now I think I can. So the history on this radio, I've had it for more than 10 years. <clears throat> I bought it at a garage sale. Uh, first, I was like the first person there early one morning just as they were opening up. A lady was selling some of her deceased husband's stuff that uh, he had collected and... Uh, this was one of the things. It was still in the box. This is exactly the way it looked when I bought it. And the box has been a little bit more beat up uh, since I've had it. But this is exactly what it was. When I saw this, I read it, and I've had a couple of 148s over the years, but I never had one, never even seen one that had a frequency counter, a built-in frequency counter. I didn't even know they made them. So when I looked at this, I thought, this has got to be somewhat of a rare radio. I've never seen a 148 that had a frequency counter. Or any other Cobra radio, for that matter. So uh, she was asking 50 bucks for it. She didn't know whether it even worked or not. I have no history on it as to what, if it's stock or original or, or whatever. I, I have no idea. It might have been tuned up. Uh, who knows? I, I can't really tell with the equipment that I have. So uh, I bought it, took it home, quickly connected it up to the battery on the car, and it started up. But I didn't have a truck at that time, and really this thing wouldn't fit in my car whatsoever. Uh, so I bought it, and it just kind of sat around from there. So in early 2010, I bought my little Chevy S10 pickup. And I'm, one of my first thoughts was, I'm going to finally get that radio mounted in there and, and start playing around with it and see what it'll do. So I went ahead and I built this console, this center console to, for the truck. I built a couple of these for Chevelle's earlier um, and had a lot of success with them. And so I started building this thing. It's a uh, half inch plywood, I think. I think that's half inch, maybe quarter, I don't know. I'd actually have to measure it. My truck's a five speed, so you gotta have room for the gear shift. And this is really pretty simple. This, of course, comes off. And then this door, this comes off, so you can slide this thing in around the gear shift, put it all back together, and it's all good. And the radio, of course, mounts right in here. So it works out pretty good. Uh, I actually had the radio mounted in there for a while with a magnet mount uh, antenna and got to play around with it, but I just lost interest in it. I'll share some pictures here of, uh, of when I built the console here in the summer of 2010. I had a lot of fun doing that and uh, really enjoyed it. And I built this thing and it, uh, it looks pretty good in there. This thing is not finished by any means. Uh, it's actually done with the exception of covering it. Originally I was going to completely redo the interior on the truck. And I'm still planning to do that. And a new carpet, uh, bucket seats if I can ever find them for a good price. And then uh, I was going to actually carpet, cover this thing with the same carpet that the floor will have. So that's why it's not done. I'm, I'm still waiting on that. So now I'm going to go ahead and unbox this radio and get it mounted into the console. Shouldn't take me too long here. and show you just what it's going to look like. Uh, as I said before, uh, I don't have any information on this radio on whether it's been tuned or tweaked or peaked or channels added. I have no idea. But these radios are are pretty popular because they are very tunable. There's an awful lot of things you can do to these. 
uh, the way this is set up right now, stock, it'll only put out 4, four watts of power on uh, AM, 12 watts on sideband. Uh, they are capable of putting out a lot more, plus you could even have a, a linear or a driver uh, in this system to put out a tremendous amount more power. So, so let's go ahead and uh, get this thing unboxed and mounted into the console and uh, then we'll take a look at it. 